Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today I have something about Pimax for you and there is a new tool that's called Pimax Experience. It's in the beta version and with this tool you can um, have a user interface about the Pimax settings inside virtual reality. So perhaps you can control, uh, for example, you can control the field of view with the VR controller from uh, small to normal. You can choose the quality, uh, the brightness, the colors. Uh, you can see everything inside the headset. You can even have a game library or different profiles. It's Really cool, you can also see your desktop, for example. In this video, I show you how to install it, how to start it, and how to use that. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel, thanks to my sponsors, Woodcast VR, Offermann Events, Peter Wasmer, Andy De Pelzer, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape, and Adam's Group. Let's have some fun with the video, and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay, and before we start, uh, uh, showing the Pimax experience. Um, let's check out how we can install that. So first, uh, if you watch the video, it could be that there is a new Pi tool released that's called 267. If it's available, then it's already included. But for me, I record the video when it's not online. So I will use version 266. Attention, if you use this version, the backlight brightness sliders will not work. If you want them to work, then you need an, another Pi Tool Beta version, 102087 version 2. You can download it here. But I will show it uh, for you with the Pi Tool 266, okay? Um, then the next thing is if you don't have 267 Pi Tool, then you need to download the Pimax VR experience. A beta installer here. So just download it and then you will find this file here, install it, please close the Pi tool before and uh, then install this here and then open the Pi tool and very important check here start Pimax VR home and that causes that when you connect the Pimax and put it on your head then you will see the Pimax experience. Yeah, so I would say let's check it out now. Okay guys, welcome to the Pimax VR experience. I started it now and as you can see, this looks pretty cool here. So let's check out everything. So on the left side we have the quick settings and that's really interesting because uh, for the first thing is here we have a screen and we can set up the image quality live so uh, we can slide the brightness contrast the color channels panel backlight and we can do that on different stuff here uh, we can even change that to desktop uh, we can upload our own image to to check out everything the colors we have different profiles here we can save our profile and choose that for a uh, different stuff here and that's there's, uh, very cool. Uh, let's go back here. Here, the next settings, we can change the field of view and that happens live. So if you, I want to change to small field of view, we can just go to apply and it works instantly. Here's the quality, uh, brightness, contrast. We can uh, switch parallel projection and smart smoothing here. Just click on save. And that's awesome. Uh, the next thing is here in the middle, we have our games. So on Steam VR here, perhaps we can uh, just click on Half-Life Alex and uh, it will start Steam VR and go to that game. Uh, or here, Oculus Games, Revive, Vive Port, you can import your own games, set favorites. Um, here are some settings, you can uh, change every setting for every single game. So if you want to change the settings for Half-Life Alex here, uh, if you want uh, the biggest field of view for Half-Life Alex, change it here, or different render quality than other games, hidden area mask, and uh, then you can uh, save the profile here. It's just really cool. Some advanced features here. Uh, we can uh, ch choose to manage every single game here, how it is uh, shown here in the, in the, in the menu. 
uh, category. We can change here the categories, edit games. Uh, we can here we can have our uh, profiles. Give me a second. Why is that not working? Eh. Uh, here um, you can edit different profiles of the Pimax VR experience. It's it's really cool for the for the single games here. Cloud. We, we even have cloud-based uh, profiles here. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, then on the right side we can even change the appearance of the game list. So if you wanted. Uh, um, last played games then we can see it so you you see the last game I played was flight simulator and we can change that uh, alphabetically or whatever uh, we can choose that as gallery and title only a list uh, we can choose the scale background here and uh, we can also use the mouse to interact instead of the controllers if you like that uh, so if I click on a mouse here then I will be able to here, here you see the mouse cursor here. Um, then uh, here on the side we see our system information, uh, my graphics card uh, and stuff, RTX support, CPU, where the Steam games are, uh, the, the, the um, stuff for uh, Oculus and Vive port locations. And here on the bottom we have different stuff, but that is coming soon. It's not included yet. Uh, it's coming soon here. We can also customize everything. We can hide different categories here. Uh, we have a game manager that I already showed here. Um, here we can start Steam VR or restart and quit. And here we can show our desktop. That's great, right? We can handle our desktop here. Can change to another desktop. This is my second desktop. We can maximize that. Choose distance and scale. And here's the mouse mode again. That's awesome. And here on the top, we can um, slide the appearance wherever we want. And here's the center button again. That's the same if you push the um, touchpad or the thumbstick, depends on which controller you use. Yeah, guys, I think this is really great. That's totally awesome. And uh, I think um, they will, of course, improve that. They will update that. So uh, the whole thing says uh, coming soon will be uh, I hopefully coming soon and um, for me I love it it's great it's not too much it's uh, perfectly handle um, uh, to handle and for me it's even better than the oculus experience because the oculus experience is too fully loaded with all the stuff that I don't need uh, so they did a great work here so guys if you want to try it out, you've seen how that works. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to support me via Patreon or YouTube membership, do that via one buck per month. And yeah, see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!